Uh, we have to increase it a little bit more so you will see it a lot better. Just get back to your... Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I would like to show you some ways how to create 3D text in After Effects and I will show this with After Effects itself uh, without any plugins or other programs. Um, I will use Cinema 4D for the second way and last I will use a plugin to show you guys how to create 3D text with a plugin. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is within After Effects. This is as I said without any program or plugins but it's also the most cheapest way so it doesn't look very great but well it works so if you just want to create something fast and just a small 3D part you can use it and but if you are with a big project where it has to look great you definitely should use some plugins or maybe other programs to get it fixed so um, <clears throat> well let's get started just um, open After Effects and just create a new composition and well I've set it to uh, full HD always uh, one minute well, for now it's too long maybe uh, we don't even animate it so it doesn't really matter I will make five seconds so uh, press OK and first we're going to create a new layer um, uh, let's make it a solid layer for the background and let's create a text layer and here we have to write something, uh, I'll write my channel name. Well, it's black, so I have to change the color first. Oh, that's a weird, weird font I'm using. So, Mirror Pro, that looks okay. And it's a little bit small, so I'll increase this one a bit. 350 maybe. Okay, no, 400, better. So, there it goes. And now we have to make this 3D. So click on the text and click on the 3D button, this box, and click on it. And now we have to go, now it's not just 3D, now it's just flat and you can now um, change the rotation. So you can see it's not 3D as you expected it to be. So um, that's because your rendering is not um, meant for real 3D things so click on the rendering and go click on this one go to ray trace 3D and what it does it makes um, some changes to it I guess I'm not really sure what it does but just uh, click on it and press OK but the thing is it's very heavy for your computer and <coughs> it doesn't really work fast it just slows down your computer speed and it's just very, I don't know, it's very hard for your processor or for your video graphic card. I don't know, it, but, but it just, it's so heavy so it works so slow and that's why I recommend uh, other like plugins or programs to get it fixed because if you have big projects uh, you don't want to work like this, it takes too, long, too much of time. So, um, but it's okay for now, so click on uh, retrace and now we can, as you can see, we have one other option, the geometry options. So click on that one, and we will increase the extrusion depth, and that is the depth um, behind these uh, font. <coughs> Excuse me, behind these letters, and uh, just increase this one to I don't know 50. And hit OK. Now you don't see any changes because the camera is right in front of it. So we will create a new camera, uh, while well, the settings are ok, so press ok. And just wait for the computer to get it fixed. And as you can see when I'm pressing C and I will rotate my camera a bit, you can see I've got some depth in it. Not much, but there is something you can see. Oh, hold on, too far. Uh, we have to increase it a little bit more so you will see it a lot better. Just get back to your extrusion depth and set it to 100. And now you can see the depth is a little bit better. But the problem is there isn't any shadow so it doesn't look very great. And to get this fixed you have to 
to um, bring some light in it. Uh, just first go to material options, geometry options maybe. Nope, we don't have to. Um, just go right click new and add a light to it. Uh, spotlight is okay. You can set it to uh, ambient as well, but spot is okay. Press OK again. And now, if we wait a second, you can see there is something. There we go. We are going to rotate the camera a bit. We don't have to rotate the light, but the light itself should not rotate. That's why I'm rotating the camera so the light is off position. Just click on your light and just transform it. Um, transforming position or the rotation so you can get it fixed. Or you can change the anchor point, of course. But as you can see, it's very heavy for the computer so it takes a lot of time. But this way you can fix it, it just takes a lot of time to get it done and you can of course uh, like set this position, the Z position I guess it is so your light will display more than just one part of the text <coughs> just set it to, uh, to a minus uh, 1500 or something That's, that looks a little bit better again already Sorry guys, my English is a little bit worse today. Come on. Alright, so uh, next part I will show you guys uh, how to uh, get another color. Well, it's just the same as typing text, just click on this button for the color, of course. I don't have to explain that, I hope you guys understand that already. Just uh, pick a color and press on the OK button. My computer is, is down. Uh, well, you see it, it's changing already. Um, well, yeah, this is a way to do it, but as I said multiple times, it's just a, well, it's not the perfect way to do it. It takes a lot of <coughs> computer um, issues with it. Uh, it's heavy, but it's okay. But I will set this back to um, classic 3D and I will show you guys the second way how to create 3D text in After Effects. So I'll get rid of uh, Get away with all these things. Um, well, the next way you can do it is um, go to Cinema 4D and create some 3D text uh, in this program. First of all, uh, select the text and set something to here. Hello, press enter. Oh, hold on. So, there we go. Um, set an extrusion on it. And I will increase the extrusion a bit. And I will create a cool material. Ah, uh, no, I'm not creating a very cool material. I'm just giving it a color and some reflection. There we go. Hello. There we go. And I will set a camera, and I will call this camera main. So there we go. And I will make another one, and I will call this one far. And I will show you guys why I did this. So for now, and we will save this one inside a folder. I will call this three text. No, I will I will call this hello, hello. There we go. Um, go to After Effects and just import a file and import your Cinema 4D file. Import and just drag it into your layer uh, layer area. <laughs> and as you can see, you see some. Um, you can see the floor, the three D floor, and you, uh, you can get rid of it by go to your render settings and set it to final. So there we go. And as you can see, the camera is far away. That's because Art Effects is using camera from Cinema 4D. You can change this by um, go to the camera settings and um, select the comp camera. But then you have to create a camera inside of your composition. But for now, I have created uh, two cameras in Cinema 4D, so now I can select these cameras. Uh, I'll show you guys how. Uh, click on Cinema 4D camera uh, on the camera and select Cinema 4D camera. And now I can set the camera to the main. And there we go. It's a little bit, it's 
a little bit too far to the right, so I will just drag it and it should auto update here if I save it. There we go. And if I set camera too far, it should go to the far camera. So uh, it's a great way to use, but it also as way uh, as the first way when we were creating some 3D and After Effects. It's just a little bit slow, and the computer doesn't like it very much. But it's okay to use. I should use this one more than the first way we did. Um, well, the animation you can animate in Cinema 4D, and it should auto update here in After Effects. So. Uh, the animation will be done in Cinema and not in After Effects. That's a little bit tricky, but well, it looks great, so it's okay to use. Um, the last way I will show you guys is with a plugin called Element 3D. And I think I really like this one, and it's the best way to get some very great 3D um, in After Effects. And I will show you guys why and how you are going to do this. So, first, go to your Cinema 4D again and get rid of this camera. Just get rid of it and go back, something like here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, click on the extruded and make it editable. And uh, on this button, select them all, right click, connect objects plus delete. So now we have, we have one object, just the text only, and I will save it as a Cinema 4D Val, so yes, overwrite please. And uh, we can close the program and I will let it stay. So um, go back to After Effects and create a new solid. And I will call this one Element 3D. Press OK. And I will go to my effects and presets. And I will drag element on it so now we have an effect. And this is a very great plugin and very. Uh, they, the, this, the, this program, this plugin has a lot of options so. Just mess around with it and you will find out. Um, well, I just selected my uh, Cinema 4D file and I opened it and press OK. And there we go, there's our text. And as you can see, it, very, it looks very great. Um, just press OK. And as you can see, it's just already in our After Effects and it works so fast. It just. It, it, I don't even have lag or something. It just spawns there uh, immediately and I can just do everything with it what I want if I just want to rotate it quick I just set a keyframe um, go to one second maybe I don't know just render this one out and as you can see it just animates and this plugin has a bunch of effects it's just so many things you could change uh, if I go to uh, I will show you guys one thing uh, particle look and go to the uh, deform option and if I just I don't know twist maybe maybe it's cool to twist this one see you can just do so many things with it it's just so funny to uh, mess around with it and a very easy way to to animate your stuff so let's go to one second maybe just put this one um, set to zero maybe and this one set to zero as well as you can see, you just have so fast an animation of your text, and it's the best way you could uh, you could make 3D text in After Effects. But it's also um, it's also a plugin that means you have to buy the plugin or get it from VideoCopilot.com. That's uh, the founder of this plugin, and that's just basically the thing why people don't use plugins because it's expensive and they just prefer want to make something in After Effects itself. That's why I showed you guys also the other ways to do this. But if you have big projects and you have to make it look good, just use plugins. You definitely should use some plugins to get this uh, work done. And I hope you guys understand it better. If you um, already use Element 3D and you have some problems with it, I would like to help you guys and make some tutorials about it. Um, if you have any problems with other things, just ask in the comments and I hope I could help you guys out with some stuff. Uh, I also would like to give you some feedback uh, on your work. 
and uh, just let me know in the comments and some great tutorials will be coming in the future as well I'm working on it and I hope you guys like this video and let me know what way is the best for you so see you guys later. Bye.